Hey everybody, just wanted to make a quick video about PGP, in particular uh, an amendment to the security video that I did. So I'm bringing my whiteboard real quick. Okay, so if you recall in the video, uh, we used a two key solution. So you had key one, and that was a cold key, and key two, uh, that was a hot key. And key two was generated the normal way through uh, either GPA or Cleopatra. And key one, uh, the cold key is generated using a YubiKey. And if you read the YubiKey documentation real closely, if you create a key on the YubiKey itself, uh, there is only one copy of that private key, and that's going to live on the key. Okay? So if you lose that YubiKey, uh, then you don't have any way of restoring that key. Okay, so it's uh, not good to lose that. Um, the traditional way of generating a key that goes on a UV key is to generate a master key using the normal uh, way that we generated uh, the hot key. And then you use the command line to transfer after you've backed up the master key, you use the command line to transfer uh, the YubiKey to YubiKey. Second here. Transfer to YubiKey the PGP keys. So you'll have a backed up master key uh, sitting somewhere, and it'll have that little .ase AC, ASC extension, uh, and then your UB key will contain the keys that you normally use. Okay, um, here's the issue that somebody pointed out over Twitter, and I checked it myself. Uh, when I use the Cleopatra interface, the smart card interface, It generates a .gpg file, which is normally an encrypted file. And I actually went and grabbed those backups to check real quick and see if I could restore them the normal way, like I would restore a ASC key. And it's able to read a secret key, but it, for some reason, doesn't really want to import that secret key. So, Tomorrow, I'm going to send some messages out, read the documentation, and see what's going on. It's a bit confusing in the Cleopatra interface that clicking backup actually doesn't make a valid backup. And I'm sure that there's some kabuki involving maybe you have to use another smart card and you can only restore to another smart card or something. Uh, it would be pretty crazy if the backup didn't actually produce a backup, or else why would they have this option in the Cleopatra GUI? So I'm going to look a little bit into this. And if it is the case that this is not usable, like an ASC file is, or you just simply import it, uh, then I'm going to reshoot the security video a little bit ahead of schedule. I was planning on crowdsourcing recommended solutions and updates and other things to it, uh, and then reshooting the video for maybe next month. But I'll, I'll make some sort of video on PGP to talk about signatures and authentication and encryption and subkeys and uploading the key servers and all these things in due course. Uh, but just be aware that there may be an issue with recoverability with the uh, video that I made. And I just wasn't aware that you apparently can't restore from these backups. I assumed that this backup here was just simply uh, something that you would import like you would a normal ASC file, a ASC file, uh, and you have access to it. And then you just simply store these backups on your um, apricorns. The apricorns are the encrypted flash drives that I told you guys to buy. All right, so in the meantime, uh, don't use the YubiKey. And if you've already used it, YubiKey for encryption. And you've already gone through the whole thing and you've managed to use it, some people have, I just decrypt and just use a single encryption with your hotkey. Uh, that's probably good enough, considering that the master password of the hotkey is very strong. And while the hotkey is hot in that it lives on one of your computers, uh, it's never been transmitted into the cloud. 
Okay, so still very secure to have a single PGP encryption. It just, this is the belt and suspenders option and having a hardware key combined with a software key is the gold standard. Uh, it's okay just to have a single one, especially if it's sitting in an area with low access code, uh, low access, uh, with strong ask, access control and low ability to be tampered with. Everything else is good. You can still use your YubiKey for uh, OTP or FIDO, U2F, A, uh, you know, all that stuff. That's fine. That's completely fine. Uh, it's a beautiful device. Still use it for your salt. Uh, that's fine as well uh, for static passwords and so forth. But I'm not just so sure about that. I should have uh, double checked and verified that I could restore it. I just saw the backup copy and I said, okay, port this over the file. I assumed that Cleopatra was a little smarter. Unfortunately, Cleopatra is not the friendliest of software and it's not um, super, super easy to use. So if you still want to use the YubiKey, then you're going to have to learn how to uh, do a command line port, and there's a command called key to card. So you're going to type something like uh, gpg uh, dash dash card dash edit, and then there's going to be a lot of commands that you can run with that once you're inside the terminal, uh, and you'll have to basically prime and activate your um, key that you've already created using Cleopatra, and then you call the key to card, and it'll transfer it there. So if you've made a backup, then uh, you'll have two copies of it, one in the backup and then one that now lives on the YubiKey. And there's plenty of tutorials for this that are online uh, that are relatively straightforward and easy to follow. The only reason I generated it in the GUI was that I saw the option to do a backup and I assumed that, okay, it should be just like any other PGP backup. I'm not sure why I'm having trouble importing that. And maybe I'm just missing something. I'm used to importing uh, these types of files. So I'll look into it. It's probably something stupid and you know something in the lore of PGP I'm not aware of. Uh, and uh, I'll let you guys know what comes up. In the meantime, just use a single layer of encryption or do this. And uh, what the commenter pointed out is that it's, and he did the right thing, it's always good to check if each step works. So verify that you can restore from backup always. So before you write your private keys down in a permanent storage, verify that you can restore your wallet from those private from that key recovery phrase. And before you consider your encryption good, make sure that you can decrypt the file. And before you consider your keys good, make sure you can destroy your keys and restore your keys. So in order, uh, do your PGP keys first because they're the basis of your key security and then your wallet recovery phrase. And then the encryption and decryption of your wallet recovery phrase. But always make sure you can restore from backup. And the um, commenter did try to do this and they ran into that same error that I'm now running into. Uh, and uh, there you go. And if you guys know uh, how to restore these .gpg when you construct a key in Cleopatra from the panel and activate the backup, do let me know. For some reason, I'm just not able to do it. It's reading the key, and I'm, I looked through the documentation. I didn't see anything about it. Unfortunately, smart card documentation leaves something to be desired. Anyway, brief video, uh, just as a, a little bit of a, an amendment. Uh, and I'll shoot a whole video on PGP when I've had some chance to go and read the whole spec again and go through everything again. So until next time, have a nice day, everybody. Cheers.